Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play The Long Dark. My name is Weasel and The Long Dark got a big update version 364 Vigilant Trespass, uh, which added a lot of new features like the interloper experience mode, which is incredibly more difficult. It adds decay to the world. It added a new challenge, The Hunted Part 2, which we will be playing uh, in this run and also many more things that I'll be going over as we start a new game. Uh, hunting down the bear. Last time, if you remember and followed along, we have been running from the bear, made our way to the trapper's homestead, and then, yeah, take the rifle and go face the bear. We'll have to track him down with... Jesus, okay, he's angry. Yeah, I think he's at the door. Yeah, he's definitely at the door. I'm not, I'm not gonna go out right now. We're gonna pick up some... Jesus, dude. Easy. Okay, I... I may, maybe... Oh my god, okay, the door. That's a new one. Couldn't I just shoot through the door? Okay, I'll face him. Where is he? Hi! Pretty sure I got him another time. Alright, you keep running, buddy. Where are you? There you are. Okay, that was another shot. I don't think we're supposed to kill him yet. But I certainly got some hits in. How many bullets do I have left? I honestly have no idea. It doesn't tell me. Quick look. Tells me six bullets. Fantastic, I'll take it. Uh, before we keep running afterwards, I think I hit him a few times. Um, we're going to go back in and grab what we can. Because we need to be prepared if we follow him. Look at that, a summit soda, give me the flares, fantastic. He's so angry. He's so angry, probably because of the arrows we shot on him. That's very understandable. I'll grab that vest. We'll prepare, I mean, I, I don't think we're gonna lose him too soon if we just make sure to grab everything that's here, wow. Yeah, we're really evil. I, I like the new interface. A lot of changes have been made, as I mentioned. Uh, first person is now more immersive. Stuff decays more properly. The game will get hotter over time in the free experience modes and the sandbox modes. It got fairly easy. There's new an archery skill, a mending skill, and yeah, you can go beachcombing. Yes, there's water. Oh, it requires pry bar. Damn it, I don't have a pry bar. Bummer. Ah, oh, well. Okay, we're gonna open up the safe. Shouldn't be too difficult. There you go. Okay, what's inside? Hopefully some ammunition. I'm probably gonna need some. Still eat this. I'll take an MRE, thank you very much. Okay, quick look into our inventory, see what we got. We got uh, enough clothing, that's good. There's going to be a new inventory coming up for uh, our clothing system. It's not in yet, it will be in the next update and I'm really excited about that. I think they also reorganized uh, the interface here a bit. But I think we're good. This is the best we can do. Let's follow the bear and get him. Man, he really wrecked that door, didn't he? Wait, is that a deer? Probably a deer. I don't, I don't think the bear is going to follow us. But yeah, we're going to use the blood trail that he leaves behind for us. And we're going to get him. What, what time is it, by the way? We have 11 hours of daylight left. Wonderful that they just started fresh. Uh, of course, we're going to have to make sure that we are prepared in terms of loot and food and everything. Look at that. Dead deer. My favorite. Because we can get some meat out of it. Right? I don't have a rifle. Uh, sorry, a knife, so I can't chop it up. Anything below here? Nope. Okay. You also can't run uh, backwards anymore. You used to be able to do that or strive full speed uh, to the side. That's not possible anymore. You can't do it. You can run a little bit at an angle, but the stamina system has been changed a bit, so that's a good thing. Let's keep moving. Yeah, it helps that he has all of these tracks here. I don't even need to follow the blood, but we definitely shot him like two times minimum. I'll grab the stick. We have a stick. I, I, you make it sound like it's the most magical thing. Hey, buddy. So... I, I, heard, I heard you want to fight. Yeah, keep running. I guess we're slowly chipping away at him. Let's search the corpse. He's just going to run away. I'm not gonna I'm gonna try to immediately catch him. We're just gonna do it slowly and steadily. We will have to follow him back to his den. That's the other thing. If we want to kill him, we have to go to the den. It's kind of sad we are now hunting him down, but it is about survival, ladies and gentlemen. It's about survival, and we we need some food. Oh, another dead guy. Perfect, perfect. This is the only game where you say like, oh, dead people. Wonderful. This is the best thing ever. Let's go ahead and get him. Mm, yeah, you look like someone nibbled on you. I, I can see on the, on, the, on the arm there. I wonder if there's gonna be more corpses or more variation corpses because they're all the same guy. 
It's a lot, a lot of twins died here. Something along those lines. Some bark. I'll grab it. I don't think I'm going to be crafting too much in this. According to the devs, this has the highest difficulty. This is the, the most difficult mode of them all. It has like five hatches. Actually, Hunted Part 1 also has like five. Five out of five hatches. Okay, I can see the bear back there in the distance. Is he still running? No, he's walking slowly. I'm not entirely sure if I have to catch up to him. Or if I actually have to wait until he goes to the den. I mean, I'll, I'll keep pumping bullets into him. I guess that's the idea. The rifle doesn't seem to be too effective when it comes to that. As long as there's no storm, we should be able to follow the footmarks. The footsteps. His paw steps. His paw marks in the snow. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Keep, keep walking. Don't worry about it. I feel so bad for him. I mean, he's just trying to get away now. He's like, oh, this was a bad idea. Chasing chasing him for 15 Let's Play episodes was a bad idea. Oh, you're cold. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, we're going to come close to camp office fairly soon. We'll have to be wary of that. Maybe even make a little fire. And I'm just going to grab the sticks. And hi. Hi, are, you, are we fighting? Are we going to fight? Or are you just going to run? Okay, you're just going to run. Wow, you're fast. I'm not going to shoot at him right now, but we will have to worry about warming up. So, let's run past him, uh, after him, and then uh, stay for a little bit at camp office to warm up, because this is my my biggest issue. We're a little whined, not too hungry, not too thirsty. Track the old bear and kill it. Oh, man. I will try my best. Don't don't lay down when you're cold. That's a horrible idea. I I can tell you. I know a thing or two about being cold and laying down in the snow is a horrible idea. You, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know that. I think I think rocket scientists might not be experts at surviving as well. Just, just going on a limb here saying they're probably good at doing rocket science. They're probably very skilled at that. Probably not so much at survival, at least in general. Not to say that there aren't rocket scientists out there that aren't good at, you know, survival. There, there certainly are. Pretty sure. Uh, I can't. I, I honestly can't wait for winter to arrive a little bit uh, sooner rather than later here. Ah, because I'm sweating. It is incredibly warm where I live, and that doesn't help the immersion too much. Also, I'm sweating a lot, which would be also horrible in the game. Okay. I'm also very winded. Where is? What are you? Hi. Oh, it's a wolf. It's a dead wolf. I didn't expect that, but I guess I will... Wait, what did I hear? Oh, that's a bear. Okay, hi, buddy. That was definitely another hit. And another hit. And another hit. See, see this is the problem. I... <laughs> I pumped too many bullets in him, but he still doesn't fall. What am I supposed to do here? Okay. It says trek and uh, hunt down. Okay, meat. Takes me two hours to get all of that meat, but it's it's tasty meat. Okay, how about how much food do I have? I have an MRE. I don't need to I don't need to hunt the bear down. Uh it's gonna be nighttime soon. Which also means it's gonna be cold soon. So we will be going inside the thought into camp office and warm up a bit. Otherwise I'm gonna lose too much condition. Yeah, I'm already down to 92. I don't want hypothermia. That's gonna make my life very complicated. Oh, dead guy. Ah, uh, we got the time to check out on the dead guy here. Hey, man. How's it going? How's it going? You you got something for me? You got the good stuff? Oh, you got a winter coat. Best, best, best corpse. Oh, this looks a little bit different, I want to say. Ah, I might just imagine that. When you haven't played the game for a few weeks, things, you might remember them differently. I know, track the old bear. I will. Don't you worry your little head off. Uh, I'll be having a soda, because we're not too slackish here. And we're going to be rummaging the place for loot and such. Bandage is good. Milk, tomato soup. I don't need another can opener. Soda is always very welcome. It's so nice and bright in here. Uh, I, I really like that they redid the lighting in one of the earlier updates. Because it used to be so dark during the day in here. Ah, bullets. Yay, or cartridges. Okay, time to reload. 
And one thing I also really appreciate is, as you can see, hands. <laughs> yep, that's that's what I meant by they're working on the first person mode. Yep, there you go. I took my hands and used them. God, they're white. I'm so white. I'm so white. There's nothing wrong with that. Just pointing it out. It's just so white. Whitest hands. I could really use a tan. I should I should check out some sun. Okay, yeah, we're still cold. Not really warming up just yet. Oops, buddy. Hi, what you got? Soda. I'll take it. Mm, shelf, drawer. Let's hope for some clothing because we... I, I'm intending to kind of uh, wander through the night. That would be a good idea. For now, I think I'm going to warm up in here. Let's have a quick look in our inventory and see. We got the winter coat. Ragged winter coat. Which beats the down vest. And I'm going to harvest this. going to take me 20 minutes. Oh, I'm still numb. Hmm. That's no good. That's, that's not very good. That's very bad, actually. Okay. Warm up. We're going to start a fire. I'm going to use the accelerant. That's fine. I won't need some warmth. Okay. One hour and 10 minutes. That's good enough. And in that time, I'm going to repair said clothing item. We can always... Sh ah, damn it. That failed. Yeah, okay, I have need two materials for this. I can pick up the bedroll and shred it into pieces. And with those pieces, I'll be able... Where is it? With those pieces, I'll be able to harvest. Repair the jacket. It's going to get late, though. I'm going to have to be worried about that. Oh, actually, seven hours left. Never mind. I'm just talking BS. The actions. Repair that sucker. Please work. Damn it. Failed. Repair. How is that so difficult? It's at 67%. One more time, and we get it fully ripped. Damn it! Another time. It always costs us one cloth, as far as I know, to repair an item like that. Okay, that worked. 100%. That should warm us up a good bit. I cannot... I cannot repair this yet. What about the long underwear? I can repair it. Good. Force of daylight left. I hope the bear is not too far gone. He might be. He might be. Ah, we still got plenty of time to follow. Oh, we haven't checked out the cupboard yet, my bad. I'll take a chocolate bar very well. Um, I'm parched. That's bad. Let's drink something. Could have made some water, but I didn't have the time. I needed to take care of the clothing. I wonder if we could have done that at the same time, ideally. Minus three. Clothing bonus feels like four. Let's reload that thing. Thank you for nothing. Your other corpse was way more helpful. The other corpse was so much more helpful. Hmm. Oh, first aid kit. Can't miss that. Antiseptic. That's going to be handy. And a bandage. Let's have a quick look because I don't think we're going to need several of those. Uh, yes, we don't. I'm going to drop this. And basically, I'm going to drop anything that's 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 what more or less useless. Actions. Refuel. Well, we will bring this along because I think I want to try to go through the night. It's going to be really impressive. Let's do this. Oh, right. Something behind the couch. There's usually something behind here. Yep. There is a grape soda. All right. Leaf camp office. Let's find the um, footmarks, the paw marks over the bear. The tracks. That's the word I was looking for. Tracks. Ugh, I don't like the gray weather. But I think I think we have to keep up the pace so we don't lose him. I mean, I've been in the friggin' cabin for, what, four hours? Four hours should give him plenty of time to get away, but here's the blood blood trail. Hope it works out. We're gonna, if he goes past the derailment over there, we're gonna have to fight against wolves. I'm not gonna be too excited about that. Um, or he goes down to the left. I don't know. I'm just following it right now. In the hopes that it will lead us somewhere. It, it is nice for a change to actually hunt him down and not being hunted. Nope, he goes down here, it looks like. Already lost his f um, paw prints. They must have washed away or... Wait. Wait a second, where's the... Damn it, where's the print paw prints? It kind of seems to, like, accumulate here. And then it seems to be gone. Oh, that's bad. 
I have no idea how to find those. Well, that's great. Maybe he turned around here. You don't need to rest. You think you need to rest, but that's a lie. Hmm. This might have been something else, honestly. This might have been not the bear. I kind of feel it was. Okay, the trail leads me in this direction. And stop. Nope, 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 nope. It continues. There is a mother blood. Dodge. Damn it. Seems like the devs didn't want to make it easy on me. I'm genuinely following these individual blood dots in the hope that they will lead me somewhere. Think straight. Oh great, I'm 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 overly exhausted, meaning I can't run anymore. Ah, and I think I lost the trail. I have no idea where the bear went. No idea. It makes the most sense that he went down here. But then I'm losing his his, his track. Okay, I'll, I'll check out where I lost his trail in the hopes that I'll catch up some sort of track. Well, according to all these deer, there is no bear that came along. No, oh, no bear. Well, I'm gonna call it here. We're gonna have to try that again. That was, uh, the <laughs> hunted part two, and I lost the bear in the first episode. Yep, I, I, I lost him. I have no idea where he went. I think taking the break to repair my clothing absolutely a horrible idea when it comes to getting a bear. I mean, it makes sense if he's slowing down. I know. To slow down and grab some items, but actually repairing your stuff and, you know, warming up with a fire. Yeah, very ambitious. But then also catch a bear. In any case, we're gonna try again in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Are you going existential on me, my friend? Because I'm... I, I don't agree with that. Okay. Here he is, angry and also injured. And I'm trying to get past him because I don't know where this will lead. Last time I met a wolf. Uh, we have 12 hours of daylight left. It's a little bit brighter right now. You'll, you'll be fine, buddy. Don't worry. I dealt with worse. I mean, not much worse.